start every video with a smile. All right, being serious, but not really being serious. Uh, just a quick one. This will probably be a very long video. Uh, some explanations, some things are going to come out. Uh, stop saying, uh, good thing is, yes, I'm shaved. I work for someone else, so their policy, they want you clean shaving all the time. Until I can work for myself, have my own economics and wealth, work for other people, I'm most likely going to get a haircut, so my receding hairline is going to show even more. But that's why I wear ball caps now. Never did in my life. Now I do, because I think I look nice in them. <laughs> I love it. So, uh, all right, let's 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 get to things. I want to clear some things up. Uh, when I talk about change, you know, change, everything's going to happen. I mean, change is the one constant in the universe. So there was something that happened when I moved to Dallas in 2013 that I said I was going to do. And I changed my mind. Well, the universe brought me here on that purpose that I was supposed to accomplish what I said I was going to do. And this goes back to years ago. So that's where we're going with this conversation because someone who I respect, their YouTube channel and their own Facebook, they asked me a question. Can you do a video about why you change your mind and where you like to see yourself a year from now with regards to your health? And then they were saying, you know, they were interested in seeing that video. All right. And let's go. Where do I see myself a year from now in regards to my health? Well, if you, you cannot see this video because I never posted this video because the editing software, I was actually in my tidy whities at that time and the editing software, I couldn't get to actually cover certain things up. You know, don't want to show too much, and especially YouTube, it's a family program. Uh, at least my channel is a family program. Uh, so I never posted that video. I actually still had that video. I actually watched that video for a first time in a long time today. Um, so that video explained my whole journey starting December 31st, 2014. Within 365 days, I was supposed to drop and get under 300 pounds. Going toward my ideal weight is under 220. Hey, a lot of things happened in 2015. I, I lost focus, but I lost focus a long time ago because some may have seen this in a recent video. This is me. This is me at 31, 30 and 31, Atlanta, Georgia. And this is me when I was a vegetarian, focusing to be a vegan. And I'm gonna go and put my, uh, put my picture back up here. Is this my, con it's my constant reminder of the goal that I told myself a long time ago. And that person, I became arrogant. I became unfocused, uh, undisciplined, and it got me back to the state that I am now. I literally believed that I could eat hamburgers and fries and work out and sometime, and somehow maintain myself. It's just not my DNA. My DNA is not uh, set up for that kind of food on a constant basis, just not, you know. It takes a lot to get it off, it takes a lot of work, and it takes a lot of discipline to get to a level where you are, you know, comfortable with yourself at all times. And that person was working out more. What I was doing, the job I was, I actually rode a bicycle. So, ha <laughs> Rode a bicycle here a couple months ago. My backside is still hurting. So, long way to go from that, but lost focus. You know, this was, you know, 13, you know, 12, 13, 14 years ago. And I was then supposed to be focused. I was then supposed to be going toward the journey, then supposed to be going toward the purpose of my life. And I, I allowed myself to be sidetracked, actually willfully ignorant. 
in a lot of regards. I actually chose to do certain things. I wanted to test the reality out, test this world out. And it has hit me harder than you would ever believe. So that being said, where do I see myself in a year health-wise? Health-wise, exactly where I need to be. You know, close to that 200 level. Uh, physically in shape, I actually work out every other day. Today, I actually took time and uh, did my workout, increased my workout. I see that I can't do four sets of 11 anything and do it in repetition and then add it stuff on. So I'm getting back to what I did earlier this year. And on one of the last sets, I was like, okay, you know, I'm in here by myself. Don't get yourself killed. Um, so I know I'm gonna have to crank it, but it's, it's about building as I slam back down because most people would know as you slam down, you loosen your skin up. So I know this time I need to tone. Did my elliptical, I like to do over 30 minutes. 30 minutes of elevated heart rate, you know, where I just go for 400 calories. When the thing says 400 calories, I usually stop right there as long as it's over 30 minutes. And just 30 minutes of elevated heart rate every day. I try to, I want it five times a week. I do want to rest, you know, once or twice a week from that. I really only going for the uh, weight training three times a week, especially once I get it up. Is really just to tone and really to get myself focused. What I like to do more than anything, I like to eat first before I work out and get on the elliptical. That's one of the biggest things I do. Uh, I, I put a lot of more stuff, shorter videos, pictures and stuff on Instagram if anybody would like to see that. I actually showed a um, another uh, weight loss video or a weigh-in video. And I'm in the 330s now, you know. I actually had another video to put on YouTube. I decided to erase it because it kind of contradicted the video that I put on Instagram because it had me at 339 and the video I was gonna upload the, uh, the same day was at 338. So I was like, eh, I'm just gonna wait. Um, by the end of this week, I, I really plan on being down more. It's just. The, the real goal is to get my health in excellent shape. I, I need to get my mind, my spirit, my body and soul the direction I was supposed to go. And one of the reasons I gained a lot of weight is because of the stuff I was doing it was negative. Uh, so it'll allow me to eat, you know, I would eat more, uh, consume stuff that wasn't good. I wasn't doing positive things. Uh, I'm going to change this off here because somebody keeps, uh, messaging me and I don't want to see my sister to tell her to stop because she's going to watch this video but I'll get back to the message in a minute so you know the, the focus point has to be back to getting myself in order um, I haven't lived in a house in 15 years and I want to live in a home uh, I haven't been married in 19, I want to say 19 years. I haven't had any kids in a long time. And uh, my oldest is 18 next month. I just haven't lived a, a life that I like. You know, I've done a lot of wild and crazy things and experimenting with the world, but now I'm older and mature. I really want to own my own. I want to do something that is productive where my spirit is happy. Um, I have a skill set that allows me to work for other people, but it comes at a cost. And if I'm not careful, I become negative and I become resentful or angry and stuff. And that can be an issue, you know? So you, you have to be around bosses. You have to be around employees who understand you and who cultivate your positive and not your negative, who are not allowing your negativity to, to be pushed because of circumstances. So I, I want to do better. Now, where do I see myself in the part of the country that I see myself? I cannot answer that right now because I work for someone else. And if they see this video and say, well, hey, well, you're, you're not gonna be here in a year. You know, I, I don't think I'm gonna hire you or I don't think you should be working here, or they just look for reasons to get rid of you. 
and that's just not it. Wherever I am, I'm gonna give my best and I'm gonna do my best. But I see myself doing something different. I'm looking for that mate that I need. I'm looking for the opportunities that I need to be successful in my existence that I can feel good about, you know, as I thrive and move forward. So this is what this video is. As I'm going through the change, I'm setting a direction that I want to go in my chain. Now, obstacles. Obstacles will come that way. So one of my obstacle preparers, these are the books I read. As you can see, I wear crystals, stones. Some may know what that means. This is dealing with my spirituality and my focus. I'm also into, yes, numerology, numbers, you know, and what do certain things. To me, it means something because in everything I've done, like this year, 2016, <laughs> is a very interesting year for me. It's been very trying. I've, uh, I've lost three former co-workers that I was close to and it has bothered me a lot. I've been sick a lot this year as my health has declined for stress reasons and other heart related and diabetic issue reasons. And the journey is doing this hard time is rebuilding myself. I am recultivating me. I'm recustomizing me. I'm refocusing me. I've been celibate for over a year now and I've pretty much made up my mind that I'm pretty much going to be celibate until I am married again. If not, then death and rebirth. Just the reality of it. I've done enough bad stuff prior to this point. Yep, to satisfy any man's messed up mind. So, you know, nah, it doesn't need to go that direction anymore. I'm pretty much done with it. I just need to focus on where I'm going to be in the direction I need to be. So that's my game plan. That's my focus. So as I get this body in condition and I slim it down, uh, eliminating, eliminating the waste, focusing more on a savvy type diet, alkaline based diet. Do not get me wrong. I am not perfect. I will not be perfect as long as I'm on this planet. I have cravings and desires just like anyone else, you know. So, that being said, you know, there's times that I want to eat this or try this, you know, but those cravings slowly as they, you know, change. But I have different, I have different vices that others may not have. So I have to deal with things for myself spiritually. Uh, what I want to put on real quick is, one, when I was working out this morning before I got on elliptical, because when I get on elliptical, I like to watch a show that I know is going to be over 30 minutes. And that was on demand, so that was a show, you know, uh, one of the series of many series that I'm keeping up with. But in the meantime, I was watching Man Ralph Smart, uh, 10 Habits That Make You More Attractive. I was really lifting the weights watching this and just zooming into what he's talking about but he just put this out November 5th people who love themselves are super attractive point blank you heard that people who love themselves are super attractive point blank you love yourself people love you you know I love me people love me but I need to be I need to love myself for the right reasons and the people who love me for the right reasons uh, as I've moved forward from my journey. But I love this video, it's a very good video. You should go and watch, it's only 18 minutes long. Ralph Smart, positive person, always about the positivity. Uh, got his book, still need to get into reading it. And that, that was one. This video that I'm about to put here, How to Open Your Chakra Explained by a Children's Show. I don't know if anybody's ever watched it, but it's got almost got 184,000 views on it a lot of positive reviews only 21 negative views and it was just March 4th this year a lot of views was excellent I think I was on the elliptical when I was watching this and it brought me some things brought me to tears you know as that's what the stones are about you know 
is to uh, open up your chakras. You know, I have a, a rose quartz right here for my heart, and there's another one. Not gonna tell you what it is, but it's just to open myself up to get myself back in order. I I know I had a purpose, very important purpose. And I allowed myself to get distracted out of boredom, out of just anger, out of just questions, whatever. But, you know, as you're waking up, and I am waking up, boy, things are happening. I am waking up, and I don't want to sound strange and weird, especially as I'm telling the world. So my personal stuff has to maintain in the personal realm of me and my personal circle. So this video was so awesome. Uh, you must open all the chakras. Hey, tell me everything you know about chakras. What are chakras? Oh, I see. I guess we'll start with the basics. The water flows through this creek much like the energy flows through your body. As you see, there are several pools where the water swirls around before flowing on. These pools are like our chakras. So, chakras are pools of spiraling energy in our bodies? Exactly. If nothing else were around, this creek would flow pure and clear. However, life is messy, and things tend to fall in the creek. And then what happens? The creek can't flow? Yes. But if we open the paths between the pools... The energy flows. There are seven chakras that go up the body. Each pool of energy has a purpose and can be blocked by a specific kind of emotional muck. Be warned, opening the chakras is an intense experience. And once you begin this process, you cannot stop until all seven are open. Are you ready? I'll do whatever it takes. First, we will open the earth chakra, located at the base of the spine. It deals with survival and is blocked by fear. What are you most afraid of? Alright, I'm gonna uh I'm gonna come off of that. That's enough. Man, this is a 17 minute video because I'm getting caught up in what he's saying. I'm trying to actually put it onto my uh Facebook page. But I'm actually it close this, close this. I'm actually having issues putting it on my Facebook page. Hey, I'm gonna see if I can put connect it to my Facebook page. But it's in my YouTube. So on my YouTube in the playlist, uh, what was it? Spiritual meditation. I think that's what it was in my playlist. Yep, uh, meditational truth and chakra control. It's the only one in that playlist. Excellent. Uh, man, just really had me in tears, had me focused. So as this video is getting close to 20 minutes, it's just the focus is just to get myself in order, you know, to put myself where I need to be. Um, I have a purpose that I'm focusing on. It's just economics is a big thing. You know, if you either have it or you don't, you know, how you get it and how you wield it. You know, uh, I need help to get it. I need to figure out how to get it. And when I get it, I need to be able to control it. That, therefore, it benefits me, my family, and the friends and those I deem that are around me. So, that being said, that's me going in the direction I need to go. Uh, most likely, I'll put out another health video, a weigh-in. Coming up, I just want to get to probably about 3.35 and then just put it in there. And just do start the waiting over again. Remember, people, this man's coming down from 415, 48 to 390. You know, this is just the restarting of, you know, controlling my weight once again and eliminating the stress. So the goal this year is just to get closest to 300 as possible. Next year, we could worry about focusing in even more. But right now, that's just the goal. You know, and that's the focus point. That's the journey. So on that, I'm going to wish everyone peace, health, and wealth. And I wish everyone positive energy on their journey. And I leave you with a smile.
Hmm.